OK, so today we're going to look at a very popular app that's been available on the PC and Mac for several, several years, has now come to the Fire Stick, which enables you to view a friend or a relative's Fire Stick screen if you need to help them out. All the details coming up shortly. So as I say, this video is going to show you how you can install a very popular remote control app on your friend or relative's Fire TV stick to enable you to view their screen and help them out with problems they may have or help them with the Fire Stick in general. Now, this app, as I say, is a very popular one and uh, it is called AnyDesk. And yep, you can now install that on the Fire TV Stick and Fire TV Cube. The only limitation is it can only be used to view. There is a plugin which should allow you to remotely control using your keyboard and mouse, but unfortunately, it doesn't seem to work. The add-on doesn't seem to work. So let's just go back to the beginning. So what we need to do is we need to, first of all, ensure that we've got any desk installed on our Fire TV stick or cube. So all we do is we just go back to the home screen and then press go across to find, down to search, middle button, and then just start to type on our on-screen keyboard or say any desk. Once you see it underneath the on-screen keyboard, highlight it, middle button on the remote control, and then make sure you highlight this one here with no keyboard and mouse in the top right-hand corner. This here is just a plugin. It's supposed to allow you to, or your friend, to use a keyboard and mouse to remotely control your Fire Stick or Cube, but it doesn't work. So we're just going to concentrate on this one here, the one without the keyboard and mouse in the top right hand corner. So highlight that middle button on the remote control and then middle button again to start downloading and installing. Now, I should say this needs to be installed on the Fire Stick that you want to remotely control. The person at the other end must have a PC or a Mac or a system that can run the AnyDesk client. So I've got a, a Windows PC, as you can see up there in the top right hand corner of the screen. So I'm just going to open AnyDesk. And first of all, it gives us a privacy statement. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm just going to get rid of the laptop screen in the top right hand corner at the moment, just so we can see the screen a little bit better. So, OK, so we've got the privacy statement here. We at any desk care about your privacy very seriously. Learn more about how we collect and process your data. So you can go across to the privacy policy there and have a look at it. Once you're happy with what you're doing here, go down, make sure that OK is highlighted in that orangey red middle button on the remote control. And then it says here, any desk might not work properly when battery optimization is enabled. Well, this doesn't matter here because we're not using battery optimization. You can't use it on a Fire Stick. It's just that this particular app is designed for many, many Android platforms. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep going down until OK is highlighted with that orangey red middle button. OK, so it now gives us a tutorial. So it says you can abort the tutorial by touching the area outside of the blue circle. You can get detailed help or restart the tutorial anytime here in the menu. Touch the marked area to proceed. So I'm just going to keep pressing the middle button on the remote control just until we've gone through the tutorial. So keep going through quite a few of these options just do not apply to us here. We are just simply setting this up so that somebody can remotely control our fire stick, not the other way around. We don't want to remotely control anybody else's system from here. So let's just go back to our laptop. And what we want to do is we just want to download the AnyDesk client. So I've just opened up a browser. I'm just going to make the screen a bit bigger. And if I go up to the uh, address bar on the laptop's browser and just type in there anydesk.com, then press enter or return on our keyboard. And then what we do is we just move our mouse over the red and white download now, left click once, and that should automatically start to download, as you can see up there in the top right hand corner. Apologies about the picture quality here. So once it's downloaded, let's left click on open file. And here it gives us 
our address which is blurred out now what we need to do is we need to get the address of the fire stick that we want to control so i'm just going to move this screen just down to the bottom right hand corner and again that address is partially blurred out for security but all i do is i just go up to enter remote address up there click in there and I type in the address that's just to the right of your address on the fire stick. So I'm just going to do that. OK, so I've typed in that address on the laptop. Press enter or return. And there we go. It's come up with a security warning on the laptop. So I just allow that. And then on the fire stick, I'm just going to make this screen a bit smaller here because on the fire stick, there you go. We've got a security warning up, up there telling they're telling the user another person would like to access your device. If you accept this person can do everything that you can do on your device, e.g. sending money, reading text messages and emails, etc. Not every supporter has good intentions. If you have any doubts, please deny this request and inform yourself in our help article. So let's just keep pressing the down button. You go, can go to more information there. If you know that the person that is trying to connect is a friend or a relative, then you can tick this box. I'm aware of the risks and just go down to cancel. And once accept goes red, then you can go across to accept and press the middle button on the remote control. But do make sure this is your friend or relative. Someone, you know, personally is logging in and not somebody has phoned you up and is doing this on the back of a phone call out of the blue. So let's just press the middle button on the remote control. OK, so the permission profile there says possible scam detected. Now, what we can do is we can highlight the arrow just to the right of that middle button on the remote control. And then we can select full access and then we can go down again, go down to accept at the bottom there, middle button. And as you'll see here in a second, uh, we've got this message come up. Any desk will start capturing everything that's displayed on your screen. So go down to start now on the fire stick, middle button. And then as you can see here on my laptop in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, that can see exactly now what is on the fire stick. So if I press the back button on the fire stick a few seconds later, there we go. It comes up on my laptop. Now, unfortunately, on the laptop, like I say, you cannot remotely control anything on there. It is just literally a viewer. So it can be helpful if you've got a friend or a relative that needs help, needs a bit of guidance. You can tell them what to do. So once you've finished with this remote session, then what you need to do is you need to then go into so I'm just going to go up and across and into apps and then go into any desk. And what we need to do is we just need to get across to the cross just up there on the right hand side. Takes a little bit of navigating with the with the fire stick remote middle button on the remote control. And there you go. As you can see, it now says session closed on the laptop and the other party has lost the connection. So what we really need to do now is come out of any desk and then press the three horizontal lines on the remote control, go down to uninstall with any desk highlighted, middle button on the remote control, down to uninstall, middle button again and uninstall any desk. Only have that installed really as and when you need it. So there you go. I hope this video helped. And if it did, please consider hitting that thanks button and supporting this channel. Or if you're in the market for a new VPN, a Fire Stick, Fire Stick accessories or a Fire TV Cube, or want to just have a look through my Amazon store, then have a look in the description of this video. There's loads of links down there for you. Donating, buying or subscribing through these links really does help support this channel. It helps me to dedicate more time into researching and bringing you these videos. And also whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.